Welcome back to another episode of The Heavy Burns Extremely Magical Original Directory of Super Passable Hardware, a specially refined edition for Skyrim. Or the Modosphere for short. After being brutally rejected by Karalith in the last episode, Thor got a new job in the Understone Keep Court. Thor f***ing hated his job, and the Jarl had no idea who the f*** he was. One night Thor was being nosy and found a suspicious letter. It read, It's been weeks since you reported to this court. I take it there was blah blah blah, go to Carthwaste and blah blah blah. So that's exactly what Thor did. He came across a destroyed house with a load of vigilant corpses inside, and after staring at the bodies for a while, he decided to put on a disguise before heading into the basement. The basement was full of coffins alongside two finely dressed gentlemen who Thor thought looked very friendly. Thor approached both of the gentlemen and asked what they were staring at, but neither of them answered. How f***ing rude. Thor proceeded to investigate the strange looking altar and the two men lost their f***ing shit. No more Mr. Nice Simp. Thor smacked the first dude into next week and then a couple more weeks after that for good measure, whereas the other guy just stood there like some weird f***ing Tekken character. The first dude tried to get a cheap shot on Thor's back, but Thor wasn't having any of it. He lied up a bat to clap those cheeks, and at this very moment, he knew he fucked up. Home run. All that was left now was to deal with Archdeacon Jackie Chan. Thor then revealed his true identity, and Deacon Boy said bring it on. So he did. And just like that, Thor had saved the day once again. Good job, Thor. Overall, this short and scripted quest was a good way to introduce the two sets of eloquently designed armor and weapons into the game. They both remind me heavily of sets from the Dark Souls series, yet do fit quite well into the Elder Scrolls world. I would definitely recommend this mod for most playthroughs as the quality of both sets of weapons and armors are very high and well stylized. And while the Jarl of Markarth leaves for his yearly fishing trip, Thor is being left in charge of the city, which is a terrible thing for Markarth, and quite frankly, a terrible thing for all of Skyrim. Tune in next time to see how Thor manages to accidentally kill an entire city's population. But until then, adios bitches.